members of the House, you have a report in front of you, which you will be able to read in your own time. But we just wanted to share with you a little bit of what the people are saying who have done this work. So I'm just going to give you some very short comments from people who've participated. Yeah, and one of the things we find is that men and women begin to understand one another better. For example, one man said at the end of this work, I am glad to see, I'm glad to have seen women speaking from their heart about the way they've been violated because I myself as a man have done many of these things and today I'm aware of the pain that I have caused. That was from a young man on one of our workshops. Another woman said, I used to hate every man, but now as a result of this work, I'm a new person and I've learned that not all men are the same and I respect men. And another man said, I can see now that both men and women are abused and abusers. It's a very nice understanding that we've all suffered the same pain. Uh, we also find that men begin to get a better understanding of what it means to be a man, just like women do that, what it means to be a woman. For example, one woman said, even though I wanted to get back at men because I'm very angry with them, I realized that this workshop is not about getting back at men. It is about rectifying my wrongdoings and I have stopped hurting people's feelings, particularly me. And one man said, I have to read this to you because he said it very beautifully and I don't want to change his words. My valuable learning was that you don't need to be tough to be a man, but you need to take full responsibility of your acts and be man enough to accept your wrong. So then the challenge after the workshop is what happens with all of this knowledge? You know, it's nice to learn something. If it's just for you, what do you do with it? And some of our participants have said very beautiful things. One said that now spends more time with my family and we have a more open and respectful relationship. Another man was very honest and said, well, I have stopped beating my girlfriend. Very simply. And finally, there was one, this is my last one, which again I'd like to read to you because it shows the power of how men can influence particularly other men. One day, I came home and I found my neighbor's wife sitting outside the door. She was beaten up by her husband. I intervened and spoke to the husband and told him that this is not the way to solve family problems. He should talk to his wife and he agreed and they spoke in the house. Now everything is back to normal. In any community or any place that we might be invited, we had just this little time just to give you a sense of what we're doing. But if you were invited in any community, we will engage with that community in terms of what, how to do this well, better, in a respectful way within that community. Who should we talk to? Who would help us to put people together? So um, I'm really hoping, I went to challenge this house to maybe take the daring step. What if you were to experience this three-day workshop so that, and I would like to say not only with people here, but with some people out there in the marketplace as well, so that you experience it not as an injury. I think do the daring thing maybe and, and come and meet with young people and experience it for yourself. We also have several copies of the book uh, which we wrote, which is called Divine Duality, The Power of Reconciliation Between Women and Men. And we want to um, offer these books uh, for anyone who would like to read them. Chapter 10 in this book gives a description of the work that we've been doing in South Africa. And at this point, um, we have certified 33 facilitators. And we just started a new training this month uh, with another dynamic group of facilitators. Thank you very much. It's a great privilege to be here and to present this work to you. Thank 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 you. Thank
Thank you very much for your attention and time. I think um, with the, in that note, I just want to say one comment, last comment about this work before I just allow maybe space for questions. Um, and that is that what is different about this work from any other gender work that is mostly happening in different institutions? And the difference is that every time we hear work related to gender, you hear either how men should behave differently towards women, and they are working by themselves. And then other organization you hear how women should get their rights back, or um, statistics of um, wrongdoing by the other gender towards women. So women are being trained or helped to, to know their rights and to know all the things that are happening badly to them. Again, those women in most cases are working alone, not with men. So both sides, one side doesn't know what the other is feeling. The difference about this work is that we work with both men and women, and it's about healing, not blaming. So on that note, I just want to say, this is what we do, this is what we would do for schools, um, organizations, communities, leaders. And uh, um, thank you very much for your time. Any questions that you might have um, in the last few minutes that we, we have and um, we would like to answer those. Uh, we, we thank you so much, Papama, uh, for coming over here to make a presentation to the National House of Traditional Leaders. We really hope this engagement will not be the last one. And we also like to thank you for the documents uh, which have given us and the books. So I hope and pray that in future we will engage more.